Okay, everyone. We have a new banner incoming tomorrow to the game with Clay as the main reward. If you manage to pull her, of course. In today's video, I will show you main features of that character, Clay or Klee, how many people are saying. And also, we will check what else can you get as a reward from this new banner. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to see more Genshin Impact videos in the future. I am following all informations from beautiful world of Genshin Impact and when I see something interesting is happening or if I see some useful informations, you will see that here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's see first which are main rewards of a new Kli banner. So sometimes, yeah, people say Kli, some people say Kle, it doesn't matter. Do you say Kli or Kle? We all know on which character you uh, meant. So, let's check this announcement on MiHoYo official forum. Dear travelers, the new event wish Sparkling Steps is about to begin. Win new characters, grab new weapons and assemble your dream team. Start time October 20. Okay, so that's very clear. That means tomorrow we will have this new banner in the game. Details. In this event wish, the 5 star promotional character Klee or Kle will get a huge drop rate boost. So if you want to get this character to play with that character, now is your time to try this thing to get this character in this banner. In this event wish, the 4 star featured characters Xiong Xu, Noel and Sakros will get a huge drop rate boost. So these other 3 characters. To be honest with you, I have played really a lot with Noel. Noel is a 4 star and I am playing with Noel almost every day. Noel is really amazing. I like the way she moves, I like her skills and I like to play really a lot with Noel. Sakros I already have but I didn't play too much with that character. I have it but I don't play with it. So let's talk more about Klee or Clay. I am here on Genshin GG website and I will put a link in the description below video so you can check this website for yourself. This is absolutely amazing website when you can check all the characters in the game and many more informations regarding Genshin Impact. And for today's video we will check here everything regarding Klee or Clay, how do you say. So let's check first Klee skills talents. Kaboom, normal attack. That's really interesting the name of this uh, of the normal attack, right? Kaboom. Normal attack throws things that go boom when they hit things. Perform up to three explosive attacks, dealing AoE damage, pyro damage. So obviously this is a pyro character. I didn't say that on the start. Pyro catalyst. So you you all probably know that fr from before. But let's say that that it's clear. It is a pyro character. Charge attack. Consumes a certain amount of stamina and deals pyro damage to the enemies after a short casting time. Plunging attack, gathering the power of pyro. Klee plunged towards the ground from mid-air, damaging all enemies in the her path. Deals AoE pyro damage up on an impact with the ground. This sounds pretty, pretty nice, I must say. First hit damage 72.2%, second hit damage 62.4% and third hit damage 89.9% damage, looking pretty nice. Jumpy, dum jumpy Dumpty, <laughs> elemental skill, okay that sounds pretty funny right, this translation, but yeah, come on, it's cool right, this is the name of elemental skill, Jumpy Dumpty. Jumpy Dumpty is tons of boom bang fun. When thrown, Jumpy Dumpty bounces thrice, igniting a dealing AoE pyro damage with every bounce. On the third bounce, the bomb splits into many mines. The mines will explode upon contact with enemies or after a short period of time, dealing AoE pyro damage. Starts with two charges. Okay, this sounds, some would say, pretty amazing. Cooldown 20 seconds. Okay. This sounds pretty nice. So far, regarding this character, regarding these skills, looks pretty good. Let's check Elemental Burst, Sparks and Splash. Sparks and Splash. Everything regarding this character have really interesting names. So, Klee's Blazing Delight. For the duration of this ability, continuously summons Sparks and Splash to attack nearby enemies, dealing AoE Pyro damage. 
cooldown 15 seconds. So as you can see, this normal attack, elemental skill and elemental burst are looking really, really good. Klee passive talents. Pounding surprise unlocked at Ascension 1. Okay. When jumpy, jumpy, ju jumpy, dumpty, <laughs> jumpy, dumpty and normal attack deal damage, Klee has a 50% chance to obtain an explosive spark. This explosive spark is consumed by the next charged attack, which costs no stamina and deals 50% increased damage. Then we have unlocked at Ascension level 4, Sparkling Burst. When a charged attack results in a crit, all party members gain 2 elemental energy. Okay, not bad. And all of my treasures unlocked automatically. This is really cool. Displays the location of nearby resources unique to Mondstadt on the minimap. Wow, that sounds pretty amazing, right? Displays the location of nearby resources unique to Mondstadt on the minimap. Let's go further. Let's check Klee constellations. First constellation level 1, chained reaction. Attacks and skills have a certain chance to summon a spark that bombards enemies, dealing damage equal to 120% of sparks and splash damage. That constellation, come on, on level 1, that sounds pretty good. Explosive frags, uh, constellation level 2, being hit by jumpy dumpty, jumpy, jumpy dumpty, jumpy, I will never probably say that correct, but doesn't matter, jumpy dumpty. Mines decreases enemy death uh, defensive by 23% for 10 seconds. Uh, then we have Constellation level 3. Exquisite Compound increases the level of Jumpty Dumpty by 3. Maximum upgrade level is 15. Then we have Sparkly Explosion, Constellation level 4. If Klee leaves the field during the duration of Sparks and Splash, her departure triggers an explosion that deals 555% of her attack and AoE pyro damage. These constellations are, I mean, constellations of all the characters in Genshin Impact are amazing. But here you can see regarding Klee, this is everything about damage. Mostly it's about damage and it sounds and looks at least like this. When we read like this, it sounds really great. Uh, Nova Burst, Constellation level 5, increases the level of Sparks and Splash by 3. Maximum upgrade level is 15. And Constellation level 6, Blazing Delight, while under the effects of Sparks and Splash, other members of the party will continuously regenerate energy. When Sparks and Splash is used, all party members will gain 10% Pyro damage bonus for 25, press, uh, 25 seconds. Sounds great. These Constellations, yeah, real nice. Let's check best Klee builds. And regarding the Klee, everything is clear, uh, clear regarding that. This is a D DPS class. So, of course, it's a Pyro DPS build. This build empowers Klee, Klee's burst damage, making her the primary Pyro DPS unit in the short fights. So, yeah, damage class, DPS class, and let's check the weapons. Skyward Atlas attack increases elemental damage bonus. Normal attack hits have a 50% chance to earn the favor of the clouds which actively seeks out nearby enemies to attack for 15 seconds, dealing attack damage. Can only occur once every 30 seconds. And another weapon, Eye of Perception, attack. So the, it's either of these uh, two weapons are really amazing. Uh, normal and charged attacks have a 50% chance to fire a bolt of perception, dealing attack as damage. This bolt can bounce between enemies a maximum of 4 times. This effect can occur once every 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 seconds. Wow, really nice weapons. Let's check artifact sets. A first artifact here, we have Crimson Witch of Flames. Attack, Pyro Damage Attack. Uh, pyro Damage Bonus plus 15%. And increases overloaded and burning damage by 40%, increases vaporize and melt damage by 15%, using an elemental skill increases two piece set effects by 50% for 10 seconds and maximum three stacks. Sounds good. Noblesse oblige attack, pyro damage attack. Uh, what we get for, from this artifact elemental burst damage plus 20%. And using an elemental burst increases all party members' attack by 20% for 12 seconds. This effect cannot stack. 
Wow, everything regarding this character really sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, it is a five star character, let's be clear on that. And it's obviously Pyro DPS character we are talking about here with high damage. So I must say, this sounds really great. I might even try to get this character. I still don't have this one. But to be honest with you, this new banner with the Kli sounds absolutely real, uh, nice. And I might even try to go for that. Also, we are getting another new banner. I have to also say a few things regarding that. We are getting Epitome Invocation. Uh, this is banner for weapons, we can say. As you can see, it's also starting uh, tomorrow, October uh, 20. And uh, you can get here some 5-star promotional weapons and also some sacrif sacrificial weapons additionally as rewards. So if you need to go for weapons, you should try, if you have some wishes to spend here, some primogens, try here in this epitome invocation. Uh, let's go further here. Uh, let's check another thing. Uh, this is uh, really important. And uh, regarding the players who never heard about Genshin Impact before, I need to say some main things about this new free-to-play game. For all of you who are playing this game for a while now, probably from release, uh, same as I do. Actually, I have started to play this game in um, final close beta testing. And then I have continued to play, play it in, uh, after release. If you never heard about this game before, I need to say some things about it because it's absolutely amazing game. So, Genshin Impact is a new open world action RPG game developed by Mihoyo. Game was announced in June 2019 and released on September 28, 2020. The player starts out as a traveler of unknown origin who is searching for a lost sibling in a beautiful open world which you can explore by walking, climbing, swimming and gliding as necessary. Players can control up to four of their characters at any time. Also, Genshin Impact is a multiplayer game, so you are able to play it with your friends in co-op mode. So try it if you have time, because it's not very often that you can play AAA high-quality game for free. So as you can see, we are getting a new banner from tomorrow, and uh, yeah, this will be interesting, I assume, right? So if you want to try to get these characters, uh, you can check which characters here. In, I will put the link in the description below video, so you can check your, for yourself uh, details here. And also, if you want to get main character, main reward, uh, as we can say from this banner, Klee or Clay, yeah, why not try it? Because this character looks absolutely amazing, and uh, why shouldn't you try uh, if you are also if you are able to do that? Of course, <laughs> if you can try to get that. And also another banner regarding the weapons. If you need weapons, why not? Try to get uh, some 5-star uh, or 4-star sacrificial weapons. So that's it for today's video, guys. And I hope I was help helpful regarding some information regarding Genshin Impact. I am following all information from a beautiful world of Genshin Impact and MMORPG gaming in general. And when I see something interesting is happening, or yes, if I see some useful information, you will see that here on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more Genshin Impact videos in the future. See you soon.